In this video, I'm going to explain some common keystroke commands that you can use in Jupyter Notebook to make it easier and quicker to edit Jupyter Notebooks. First off, what you see here are some common keystroke commands that can be used to be able to do this. On this side, we have command mode. And in command mode, it binds the keys to notebook level things like moving among cells and cut copying and pasting cells and things like that. And you press escape to enter command mode. And then you can enter one of these hotkeys. So for example, if I wanted to select the cell above, then I would hit escape and then I would be able to hit the up arrow and that would select the cell above. And we'll come and show more examples of that. Over here, edit mode, which you press enter to get into, is really for working within a cell. It's really for editing and typing in a cell itself. The main purpose of this particular training video, though, is to essentially show you the command mode operations. One of the resources available in Jupyter Notebook is a lookup that will help you remember some of the shortcuts. Let's say that I wanted to delete these two. So I'll hit my escape key and use my up, and up arrow and select them. And I can say I couldn't remember that how to do that was the DD, escape DD. So I could go here and I could say delete. And by doing that, it goes and does a quick search. And so I can delete cells and it will just do it. That's handy if you can't remember. I did not have to hit DD. I just had to put delete cells and then hit enter. And then it, it did the operation. So here's an example, Jupyter Notebook. Let's first talk about movement within and around different cells. So for example, I can go up through line by line and then jump, and if I just keep going, it'll eventually take me down to the next cell, and I'm just using my arrow keys to move up. And so the, the issue here, though, is that when I've got multiple lines within a cell, then instead of just jumping from cell to cell, first my arrow key takes, takes me up line by line, and then it will jump to the previous cell by using the up arrow. By hitting the escape button, however, and then using the down key, then instead of jumping into the lines inside the cells, I can just move down and up amongst the cells with my up and down arrow keys. So here, where it says moving among cells, by hitting escape and then hitting the up and down arrows, then you can move amongst the cells without having to hop through the contents of the lines within the cells. All right, the other thing in a Jupyter Notebook is that you have the option of changing the types of cells into being basically code or markdown. Now, this one right here, I intend it to be code, but I can change it to markdown if I want to. A couple of days, different ways I can do it. By the mouse, I can do it this way. I can change it to markdown. And uh, I guess I was on this one down here, so that worked fine, all right? Uh, if I want to change it back to code, I can do it up here. But we also have hotkeys that will let you do that. So right now, I'm in code to change it to Markdown. I can hit Escape and then M, and that changes it to Markdown. I can hit Escape and then Y, and that will change it back to code. So that's what these two hotkeys do. These hotkeys are for inserting, deleting, and merging cells. If you want to, and again, you can do these things up here by, you can insert cells by doing this, that will insert cells below. You can cut cells this way. You can copy and you can paste. And so these operations are up here in the toolbar. But you can also use these hotkeys to do it. And the other thing is that this hotkey gives you the option of inserting a cell above. So if I'm here and I want to insert a cell above, by going Escape A, then it inserts a cell above. And if I go Escape B, then it inserts a cell below. So that's just allowing me to do that, and so A above and B below. When you want to merge cells, you can do that by using Shift-M. And so let's say that I wanted to merge these three cells. The way you can select multiple cells is by using your Shift and your up and down arrow keys. So let's say I want to merge these three cells. So what I'll do is I'm holding my, I'm going to hit Escape, and then I'm going to hold my Shift key down, and then I'm going to go down. I've got these three selected. And now I'm going to hit Shift-M to merge the cells. So now Shift-M, and that merges them all into one cell. You can also delete a current cell. So for example, I have an extra cell here that I don't want. So I can use Escape and then press D twice to delete that cell. So I'm hitting Escape and then DD, and then that deleted that cell. Uh, if I want to undo that last deletion, then I can get a, hit Escape Z, and it undo, undoes that last deletion. 
So these cells allow you to insert, delete, and merge cells, and they're very handy. You can also move stuff around. Sometimes you'll have stuff down within a worksheet and you want to move some of that stuff up. Well, again, there are multiple ways to do it. One way to do it would be to uh, multi-select or single-select a cell. If I want to move these up to the beginning, then I could move them by, now that I've got them multi-selected, I can move them up this way. So I can do that. Once I multi-select, then I can use the up and down arrow keys to move things around. That works out fine. I can also, instead of moving them, I can cut and paste them. So by hitting Escape and then X, and you'll notice that these are very common than what we use in Microsoft Office. We usually, uh, we usually use either Command or Control X or, or C, uh, and then V for paste. So they've adopted these very same things, or at least shorter versions of them. So now if I want to copy, or cut rather, so I'm going to use the Escape X, and that cuts them and puts them in the buffer, and then I can move them down, and then I can hit Escape, and then V for pasting them. And so they've been pasted down here at the bottom. Uh, and so that is some basic command keys. All right, so uh, and you'll find that these, if you spend a little bit of time getting used to these, these can save you a little bit of time. It's just faster to work with the notebook this way than it is to do everything up here in the menus. All right, a couple of other things. These are common to both edit mode and command mode. Control, enter, or return, if you will, runs a cell. So here if I get Control, Enter, then that runs a cell. But you'll notice that it leaves the current cell highlighted. If I want to do that and then go down to the next cell, then I can hit Shift Return, and that moves it down. That runs this one and moves it down here. So Control, Enter runs it, but leaves it in that current, at that current cell. And then Shift Return runs the current cell and goes to the one below. And then Option Return runs it and inserts one below. So if I go up here and I do Option Below, then that will insert the cell below. All right, so those are just some examples of some common commands and how to use them.